Hello, my friends. It is time for another episode of a 30 second card in five minutes. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. You never know what you're gonna get around here, especially around this place. So I'm very excited. I, it was funny, I was trying to clean because you know you see this nice pretty background, pretty table. Well, let me tell you, it does not look like that normally. If you could see the floor right now, I have to like stand right here because there's stuff everywhere on the floor because what I do is I go whoosh and it all goes on the floor. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is while I was cleaning up, these three scraps were kind of like, they weren't necessarily together, but they were kind of just around. And I picked them up and I thought, you know what? That's a really pretty color combination. So I grabbed full sheets and that is what I'm gonna use for my card. And I just, I, I'm gonna make, and this is funny, I'm gonna do a Christmas card because one of my design team members did a pink Christmas card for our booth and I fell in love with it. And I thought, if anyone in this world needs to have a pink Christmas card, it's me, right? Right. So I'm gonna see these three colors and I'm going to make, and I'm gonna drop them on the floor. I'm gonna use these three colors here. This is bubblegum artichoke and this is just an ivory color. Now, the things I'm gonna try to use, and like I say, I always start in the beginning and I always say I have this on my table because I never know what I'm gonna use. I do not plan these cards. Do not think I plan these cards. You've seen them at the end. You can tell I don't plan these cards. But I have on my table, because I am gonna to try to do Christmas. I have this stamp set that is um, from my Sizzix line. It's the cute little snow globe with the mittens and the tree, and Merry Christmas and Let It Snow, and the snowflakes, but it also has coordinating dies. Yay! You know me, I love to have coordinating dies. Coordinating everything if my, li if my life could depend on it. And of course, yes, I do use the storage envelopes from Sizzix. So I have two stamp sets in here because lucky me, um, I have extras. And I have all the die sets in here, so I'm gonna use that. And then I'm going to use a framelit flip it. Yes, A2 in size. What is A2? That means it's a standard card size. So it's A2 in size and it comes with a handy dandy envelope. Now it is a larger envelope than the standard Sizzix envelope and you can kind of just see that they are a different size but these are fantastic. Now we tested these in R&D because you probably do or not do not know. I do help out in R &D, uh, research and development at Sizzix. We tested this new flap and it's fantastic. Those little pieces do not come out. I mean, we would, it was funny. We were throwing these in the air and trying to see if we can get the dies to come out. They're really, really handy and I love this. So I'm gonna try to use this um, die set now this comes with 12 different dies. So of course it comes with the, um, the main card base. It comes with those companion pieces that everyone loves. That way you can layer and do different fun things. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So don't ever hold me to any of this because like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I just fly by the seat of my pants. I say that every time. Okay, so. Oh, and I have some stamps. Gosh, is that all the stamps I have? Of course I have my um, stamps that go on the back. And I have some other Sizzix stamps here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Lots of ink pads. We're just going to see what happens. We're just going to have some fun. And of course I have my magnetic platform. If you don't have your magnetic platform, why not? You have to have it. It is fantastic. Okay, Kenny, are you ready? He has his two timers ready. He has a regular timer and his phone timer. So, I, I, gosh, I hate when I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, on your marks, get set, start the time. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to do, oh gosh, I don't know. Let's do a white base. No, let's do a green base. So let's do a green base. And instead of, I learned this actually, this tip from Tim Holtz, don't cut your paper because you're gonna die cut it. So you might as well just use this to tear it. So we're gonna use this. And let me just get one of these done real quick just so I make sure I have it all ready. And I think, let's do a green base because I don't know how we're gonna do this. So let's get this open. And so this is the base die and I'm gonna lay this on top and I'm gonna skew it just a little bit so it's not going through the machine exactly straight on. That way it's gonna be a little bit easier on my machine and I'll get a better cut. So I'm gonna run that through. Ugh, the cracking you hear is normal. That's just the die going through the cutting pad. And I want you to know I cleaned my, um, my Big Shot today with a baby wipe because it was getting dirty on the handle. So I'm gonna pop this out. So now it's cut it and it's scored it for me. So I'm gonna pretend I'm you, I'm gonna fold it in half towards being folded up and turn it to the left. There is my card base. How easy peasy was that? So now I wanna cut out the base, pe I'm sorry, the coordinating pieces that are fantastic and everybody is really starting to fall in love with because these are designed to go directly around 
uh, I'm sorry, they're companion pieces to go on your card. So now you don't have to like double cut weird things or do anything weird. You just run these companion pieces through, which is fantastic. Pop out, pop out. And let's see what we're doing now. Let's move that off to the side. We have a whole bunch of squares. Let's see what we're doing. Let's get this all organized. I'm moving all around here. The camera guy, Kenny's gonna be all freaking out. Okay, so let's, let's use this. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive and I'm gonna add my companion piece. See how, see, it's kind of funny to see, but I'm gonna line this up and I'll show you. I'm gonna line this up just right. So it's designed to really, really, really coordinate, which is fantastic because like I said, you don't have to try to use a ruler. Oh my word. Can you imagine all the math involved to try to make these companion pieces if it didn't come with the die? So, you know, I'm always trying to think ahead. So now look at this. Ah! Isn't that awesome? So now we have the companion pieces. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, sorry. And so now we have to decorate our card. Uh, so we have our card. Let's stamp, let's stamp, let's stamp. Uh, whoops, okay. Let's use this one. I have to use that snow globe because that little snowman is way too stinking cute. So I'm gonna add this snow globe in, 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 in. Eeny, meeny, miny, okay. I can't decide. I hate when I can't decide. Okay, let's do black. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that. Look at that, crystal clean. Okay, so now we get to die cut these because they come with coordinating dies. Fantastic, and snap to my magnetic platform. No post-it post notes were used to create this card. So now I'm gonna run this through. And if I had time, I might color this a little bit, even though I don't really like to color that much. So let's add this. Okay, and I might wanna add more adhesive normally, but whatever. Okay, and you know what it needs? It needs, oh crud. It needs some snowflakes. It needs snowflakes. La 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 la. Okay, so let's add a couple little snowflakes. Wait. Is that right? So what I do is if I don't know if that's the right color, I test it on an, oh yeah, perfect. Test it on a scrap paper. <gasps> oh my word, isn't that cute? Hang on, we need a, we need a smaller snowflake. Ah, my snowflake's missing. Oh, here it is. Whew. See what happens when you don't put your stamps away where they, should, where they should go? I'm notorious for that. And you know what? This is gonna be so stinking cool. Look at what I'm doing here. I'm gonna add, now I would normally add more. Let's turn this over. I'm adding little snowflakes to my Pink paper, because you can never, and you know what, let's do this faster, move them both over there. There we go, to it one time. Look at that, schnazzy, schnazzy. So tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, and I'd normally go off the side if I was smart, I would have done this ahead of time, but that's actually really cute. Okay, so now we have to do the inside, 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 and I want to do, where's that little tree? Where's the tree, okay. Let's do a little tree there. See, what I'm doing is I'm lining it up to see if everything I wanna do is gonna fit. So if I do that, that is just gonna fit. Now I don't have a die that large, so what I'm gonna do really quick is I am actually gonna measure this. Now normally I would use, this is a two and a half. Normally I would use my square framelits because these coordinate with that, but I don't have them on my desk. So, I can't have every product on my desk, right? Because then my desk would be absolutely a mess, even more than it is now. So we're gonna line that up, and that's a little too big, darn it. Okay, hang on. I know Ken's probably shaking his head right now, I'm not even gonna look at him right now. Okay, so, and did you ever watch the video where he actually spoke? He has spoken on two videos. One is a Life with Stephanie video, and the other one, Kenny, do you remember the other one? I don't remember the other one. He's shaking his head no. Well, of course he's not going to speak, but he's shaking his head no. Uh, green, green, yeah, green, green, green. So we're going to add Merry Christmas right there. I'm getting almost done, Ken, so you better get your little finger ready to hit the off button. And I'm going to add my little tree right there. And this is going to give me perfect spacing to add a little sentiment because people are asking me where to write your little sentiment. Well, look, boom, 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 right there. And almost gone, almost done, almost done. Where's my, ah, uh, there it is. And we're going to do 
this one, take this one off, throw this one on there. You know, you would think owning a scrapbooking, and I mean a stamping company, I would have blocks. Stop! You'd think I'd have blocks, but I don't. I'm using one, oh my goodness. I go to the office and try to get more and I never do it well. Okay, hang on. I'm not even looking at the time yet because I want to show them how cute this card is. <laughs> so look at my cute little card. So here he goes and we're going to open that up and it's going to say Merry Christmas and it's perfect so you can write your little sentiment in there right there. And look, and then of course I signed it on the back. It says, yes, I made this card just for you. Okay, tell me that. Um, I'm going to think in my head and I think I have an idea. I say, I, I'm guessing. Now you guess at home really quick. Think of a number. Okay, you have your number. I'm gonna say five minutes, 34 seconds. What is it? Okay, do you have your number? It was six minutes, 30 seconds exactly. Really? Darn, I thought it was gonna be a little better than that. Okay, but that's okay, because look how cute it is. It, it's open it, open it up, Merry Christmas. Now, if I could change some things, I would go back and I would probably stamp my snowflakes on the pink before I put it on so I could go off the edges a little bit better and have it look a little bit more. And I'm not sure I like the green. I'm thinking I might, I would have changed the green. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe to an ivory or, or a craft, craft color. That would have been fabulous, like a light brown. I think that would have looked really good. But I, I like the inside because it's a little bit more simple. And then you can write your little message. You can just say, you know, Merry Christmas, I love you, or, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. I don't know. You can write whatever you want. And then, of course, I added my little backing on the ground, on the back. So thank you so much for sharing this 30-second um, card in 6 minutes and 30 seconds. I hope you enjoyed these products. Make sure you check out these products at your local store or online. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Come on, I don't know.